According to UNAIDS Gap Report of 2014, Kenya has the joint fourth largest HIV and AIDS epidemic in the world in terms of the number of people living with HIV, which was 1.6 million people in 2013. Many families have been robbed of breadwinners who have died as a result of the HIV and AIDS scourge. I have a child of my brother who died of the virus. And my husband died 2004. And my husband passed away 201. This disease has had devastating effects on the economic and social status of many communities in the country. The Bible Society of Kenya, BSK, supported by the Norwegian Bible Society, NORAD, and the UBS HIV Desk, initiated an intervention to assist affected communities in Kenya mitigate against this scourge. This intervention, dubbed the Good Samaritan Program, GSP, was started in 2006 as a response to the HIV and AIDS situation. And uh, we came up with the Good Samaritan Program that targets the church to respond to the HIV problem in Kenya. Because, like I mentioned one, many people listen to the church leaders. And uh, they may uh, take in advice or mitigation procedures that will be put across by religious people. The Good Samaritan is derived from the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 25 to 37, which seeks to address the challenges faced by the infected and to reduce new infections through behavior change communication. I've also seen the impact of this program as uh, reducing the level of stigma in the community. People have been able to take care of one another as their fellow members in the congregation, in their homesteads. The key objective of the Good Samaritan is to contribute to the reduction of the spread of HIV and AIDS and the stigma faced by people infected by means of adequate material, training and awareness creation. The other objectives are to increase knowledge of HIV AIDS, promote avoidance of risky behavior, to renew the social responsibility of the church, and to eradicate stigma and condemnation, thereby restoring the human rights, dignity, and equality of people living with HIV and AIDS. I learned that all people are the same. Be it you are HIV positive, you are the same with the other one. So now I'm okay with everyone, everybody, and my status also. I had stigma, but at present I have no stigma because I can do testimony. Somebody who can testify has no stigma. As the program was implemented, participants began to get together to seek ways to support the infected in their midst. At the time, it was difficult for people living with HIV to find employment, and this continues to be the same case even today. BSK advocated for the groups and churches to initiate income generating activities. And through this, you find that uh, most groups start small and they grow with time. Say, for instance, if it is through saving, uh, they start small, maybe with about uh, a dollar, not even a dollar, half a dollar, quarter dollar. And then with time, when you put together a dollar and a dollar, at the end of the day, you have $50 or $100. So with that $100, you can give to one, one member of the group and they go and maybe start an income generating activity. The society does not provide seed capital for the groups, but encourages the group members to utilize pre-existing skills, capital, and networks. So far, 65 support groups have been formed since inception in areas of Nyanza, Western, and Eastern regions in Kenya. These are regions hardest hit by this pandemic. In the training, we were like 50 people. Out of these 50 people, they went and formed their groups. We were trained, after three days we disparted, people went and formed their individual groups. They are doing well now. The support groups have had a range of five to 30 members, where they get to plan and organize on economic activities, such as poultry keeping, dairy farming, rabbit keeping, fish farming, horticulture, brick making, merry-go-round and table banking for money lending and savings, and hand crafting, such as making baskets and handbags. The Good Samaritan has had major positive impacts on the beneficiaries and their communities. Mr. and Mrs. Omanga, a concordant couple and founders of Nyabende support group in Ahero town, share their story. We are living positively, we are living with the HIV virus and uh, we have been living with it for about uh, 18, 18 years now and we are on drugs. There's a lot of stigma in this community 
But after you were trained, we became beyond stigma. And we trained so many people. And we have changed so many lives. Because We invite you to encourage literacy, youth, women and HIV groups to engage in sustainable, holistic ministry.